Welcome to the RV homestead. We're gonna make a black and blue cobbler in the Dutch oven on charcoal. Heavy whipping cream. That's the secret sauce. So when you're cooking in the camp oven with charcoal, about every 15 minutes you wanna rotate the lid one way and the pot the opposite. So we're gonna go clockwise with the lid and then counterclockwise with the pot. That way we get even, that way we get an even heat distribution and we don't get hot spots. One cup flour, one cup sugar. One cup cream. One cup heavy whipping cream. You can use milk, it's just thicker if you do this. Let's see if I have enough milk. Perfect to use up flour you need to get rid of. Yeah, there you go. Ta -da! You wanna hand me the cream? <laughs> okay. So let me see. So it's a one cup flour, one cup sugar, one cup cream, quarter cup Moscato wine or a sweet wine after you get it stirred in when we get out there. And then quarter butter stick, that's for th the bottom of the pan. And then you wanna be at 400 for about 45 minutes. Then we're gonna, and we're gonna put two cups of fruit on top after we put it into the camp stove or the whatever we, Dutch oven out there and a little more sugar on top. And then that's it. And we put 17 um, charcoal bricks on top and about eight on the bottom from the recipe. So here we go. That's gonna be nice and unhealthy. It's gonna taste the, it's gonna taste good though. Put that in the sink to have it. Add a little bit, cause that's pretty thick. A little more, a little more whipping cream? Or water or milk. I think I'll put a little milk. That was a little thick from what the recipe called for. It should be more like a batter. I know we don't. The key is just to, because depending on what milk you're using, it's to get it more battery. Kind of almost not as thin as pancake, but yeah, here we go. That's all that take care of it. That looks about right, doesn't it, John? Yep. Now I've got to go put the oven on the charcoal and get it hot. So in this case, we're probably gonna need a little bit more charcoal because we're hot higher than the camp stove. We're doing a test kitchen. <laughs> the last time we, we a little carried away with the charcoal on the bottom, because it was right on. So with this one, not much air gap. We need some the, the wine was optional. They just like where the tart made it just a good blend. And since we have the two different berries, the blackberries and the blueberries. Be, and the raspberries. And raspberries. You've got three berries so in there. Two gonna, cups. It's going to be a little, little tart. So we're going to be putting these on top. Two cups. That'd be 
blackberry, blueberry, and raspberry. So technically it's not a black and blue, it's a what? bruised casserole. <laughs> it's a blue, bruised cobbler. All right, we are bubbling. Let me grab the camera so we can look down inside there. Okay. Good. Okay, now, pour that in. By no means is this healthy. Nobody <laughs> said anything about a healthy video. This is not a health food channel. This is an eating channel. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to use all those berries because I'm they might kind of. They said two cups. Put it in there. And then they said quarter cup of sugar on top. I may not use all that. I mean, that's what makes it sweet and gets everything, but I think that's plenty. Ready? Yep. That's it. All right. Now we're going. We're done. We're going to bake. Hour, forty-five minutes. All right. So it's time to take a look at our cobbler. See how it's coming along. I think that can is working out great. Although it's not a can, it's a pan. Anyway, whatever it is. Hot. It's really hot. Ow! Burning my hand. <laughs> I, I think we've got a little bit, a little bit more time. I'm take, I'm cooking it slow, slower than I did last time, and I think that's actually working out in our favor. I think we need to check the bruised cobbler. The chicken is done, so the cobbler's got to be getting close. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, man, we are doing good. Another 10 minutes, I think, at the most. I think you could take the charcoals off of that, too. Let that go for five. We're, we're going to let this cook a little bit longer. We're close. We're so close. Oh, it's done. We're, we're, we're going we're gonna to take a look. I'm telling you. The boss says it's done. I, I know it is. Look, it's burning. Down, move it. Look, look. Oh, it's not burning. Oh, it's perfect, though. Yeah, we're, we're, we're perfect. It's perfect. We're ready. To, we're ready. Yes. It's cobbler time. We feasted on baked chicken. Actually, you mean you did. I feasted. Because I don't eat it. She doesn't eat chicken. So I got to feast on all the chicken. And now it's time for bruised cobbler. There's the bruised cobbler. Oh, it just comes out perfect. That looks so good. I'm going to warm it up. Going to nuke it. Heat. We're gonna nuke it. I don't think it needs to be nuked, but yeah, it does. It's not hot. she says it needs to be nuked, so we're gonna nuke it. You want it hot, don't you? Mmm, smells so good. We do need it warm to melt the ice cream. No other ice cream but Bluebell will do. Mmm, 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 mmm. Good. I think that's plenty of I ice cream. I think that's plenty. There's lots of ice cream right there. <laughs> smells so good. Tell me how it is. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah. yeah, that's good stuff right there. 
Mm. Turn down. Yay! Mmm. So the key is, don't be in a hurry. And when you see it start to separate from the side, that's when it's ready to eat. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Not healthy, but good. Nobody's anything about healthy. So good. I'm not gonna make you watch me eat the rest of this bowl of cobbler. I hope you enjoyed our excursion into camp oven cooking. Cobbler cooking in a cast iron vessel. If you did, please click on the thumbs up. If you've not already, We'd be so honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. And for our patrons, we're most grateful. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?